All right, I've made this about as easy as I can. It's a monotube boiler that you can make probably in about a weekend. Um, best to start with two boxes of fire brick. You'll get 12. I'm using um, 10 bricks here. And then this later will be, um, you can use a mortar or furnace cement or even just regular cement or shroud it in sheet metal. Um, but that's the basic configuration for the combustion chamber. Um, I started with a uh, just a, a cement platform. You can decide how you want to do that. You could pour a slab or, or you could use bricks for the foundation of it. And then we've got 150 feet of 3 8 tubing here which will coil and I'm going to use just this um, this bucket you can get at Home Depot is a, a form for the lower section, which will be the, the preheating section. So it'll just be a, a helical wall. I'll show you how to wind that. And we've got some quarter inch fittings here. Um, the beginnings of the uh, dump valve are right here. This will have a, uh, an adjustable spring and a ball for seal. The safety valve will go here. This is our inlet. It's going to come in here. This will tie into the lower section of the, um, the preheating section where the water comes in. And this here will be, um, it'll link the, uh, the lower section with the upper spiral sections. We'll come off here for, uh, for the water probe, which we'll use a standard quarter quarter inch uh, spark plug. We'll come in here and sense if there's water or not. So that's the beginnings of it and now I'll show you how to wind the, uh, the coil. The important thing about the coil is uh, you want to you kind of want to pre-plan it so that your coil sections will line up. You, you want to basically follow the curve of this tubing already. Don't fight it. Just go with it. So we're going to be winding clockwise. And then when we're done with the lower section, we're going to come in here and braise it. And then we need to make sure our spiral sections come off with that same curve coming around this way. So they feed right out of here. Alright, now I'll show you how to put that together. This is a, a weekend project you can make. Some of these uh, items are going to be specialty items. I'll make those available. There'll be a, a solenoid and electronics kit that comes with it and I'll show you how that all goes together. All right, so we're gonna use this as a form. It's tapered, so it'll be a lot easier to do. So when we go to take it off, it'll be already tapered enough to just pull off. We're gonna wind it tight. That's really super tight. Stack it one on top of the other. When we're all done, we'll wire it so the coils hold together. It'll provide a little bit of gap between each coil. so that the hot gases can um, go up and around each of the coils. These coils are going to pick up mostly radiant heat. There's going to be a little bit of convection. And this is the section where the cold water is going to come in and start to preheat and turn to steam. Really the steam is going to start forming in the, the first sections of the uh, spiral coil, which we'll do next. You just gotta kind of work it slowly. This this tubing is refrigeration tubing, um, so it's it's pretty soft.
that too much. Now the inlet. The inlet side is going to go here. It'll lead to raise that on. Anyway, this will have to be brazed on, and we're going to put our 12 volt solenoid in line here, or wherever you want to put it, it doesn't really matter, we'll have a check valve. And you want your uh, pressure gauge on the cold side. And this pressure gauge is designed for cold water. You can put a little capillary tube up to isolate it with an air an air gap in it if you want. But you want this on the cold side, not on the hot side. The, the force of the steam is going to press against the water and give it a correct reading. So it's okay. So the water line is going to come up in here, flow into here. And then In this area, we're going to put our water probe. Let's have a standard spark plug here to pick up and sense if there's water. If it's steam, it won't make a uh, circuit. And it'll actuate the solenoid to put water in. So this is always going to be full of water in this section. Okay, so there's that. Next step is to wire it together so it holds its shape. It's going to hold its shape pretty good right now. And there you have it. Slightly tapered up. It's okay. It's going to sit on our combustion chamber pretty nice. I'll show you how. So here's how that looks on the uh, combustion chamber. Fits nice. So that Home Depot bucket is pretty easy to get. Makes a nice form. Now that's it's about two square feet of um, combustion chamber, which is about right. You can see how that looks. Now this whole thing's going to be shrouded with sheet metal when we're done to keep the heat inside. Don't absolutely need to, but it kind of holds everything together.